Hi guys, I hope you are all really well. Thank you so much for joining on today's video. Today is really exciting because we're going to go through mine and baby boy's hospital bag. Listen, today I am 37 weeks. I am full term now. I think I'm full term. I'm 99.9% .9 sure. My class is full term now which means like if he was to come he wouldn't count as a pre actually I don't even know what it means but I know that if he came now like he wouldn't be a a, a preemie I think I don't know I just go off by what TikTok says <laughs> yeah today I thought we would go through our hospital bags it's all packed now actually not a hundred percent there are still a few little tiny more things that I just want to put um, in his bag and also I want to pack, um, I'm going to obviously pack a bag with Jamie and in that bag obviously there's going to be stuff for me because <laughs> I ran out of space but I just want to pack like snacks, the electrical items, all those kind of bits. I was going to say boring but snacks, I'd beg to differ. I don't think that that counts as boring. I also need to stop rocking back and forth because that's going to be incredibly annoying but I am on my ball so if I'm like not still then it's because I'm on here. Also one last thing to address um I did want this to be like a really cute aesthetic like obviously we're in baby boy's nursery um but I do have rubbish in the back and I wasn't about to move it not yet that's a job for Jamie tomorrow <laughs> so I can be asked to move so I'm very sorry <laughs> there is literally rubbish in the back but this is the reality yeah I am all packed now and we've got my bag and his bag I will say like if you're using this video as a guide to what to pack yourself I almost want to say please don't because i Listen, I've watched a hundred videos, I'm not even joking, probably a hundred videos on what to take in your hospital bag, your baby's hospital bag and no matter the amount of videos that I watch, I still find myself thinking like what am I even packing? I think it's very much a situation where, I don't know. I don't really know. I feel like I'm kind of underpacked. I don't think I've overpacked at all. I feel like I probably, if anything, underpacked. But we are only 15, 20 minutes from the hospital. So if needs be, Jamie can just always pop back home. Um, or there's like literally shops near the hospital if the baby needs anything. But yeah, it's been like a minefield, honestly. It's been a complete minefield packing his bag, so yeah, like I said, if you're using this video as a guide into as to what to pack in your own hospital bag, just jump on TikTok because I, f I feel like people have gone through it so much more better than probably what I will about to go through. Without further ado, let's get straight onto it. I think we'll start off with, let's start off with, we'll go through mine first because I feel like I've got a little bit more in there first we need to hydrate mm. i will be taking this with me or to my hospital um the this was very kindly gifted to me it's like from belly bottle um i think they're american brand because basically every week of your pregnancy you can it comes with stickers and you stick them on and it's like the size of that that fruit um but i, I think this is an american company because half of these fruits i've never heard of like what the hell is a winter melon or, or durlan never heard of it or a rutabaga or an acorn squash <laughs> but i have literally been so obsessed with this bottle it's just so convenient and it's really I've drank so much water from this even though it's literally just like a bottle but I don't know it's like my little pregnancy bottle you know um so I will be taking this with me to the hospital because 
it's got a straw as well and I've heard that that's just a little bit more convenient. So let's start off with my bag. Um, I was umming and ahhing whether to just borrow someone's like suitcase. Obviously not like a huge suitcase, like a carry-on suitcase. Um, pardon me. Because we don't have one of those. Um, I just, we literally carry, usually, if we're on holiday, like this is my go-to bag, I always take this. Um, but I mean, I fit, managed to fit everything in there that I need. And obviously this stuff's gonna go in like Jamie's, other stuff's gonna go in Jamie's rucksack. So yeah, and Jamie can just carry this. But anyway. Okay, I'm not going to do this in any particular order, I'm just, just going to pull out what I need. Okay, so, underwear, of course, necessity. Um, I've essentially, basically, are you ready to see? Are you ready to see these bad boys? So, I have packed um, disposable underwear. <laughs> they are so sexy, but, you know... It's got to be done. Um, and I did actually get the C-section. These are Frida by um, Frida Mum, I think, or just Frida. I don't know what the brand is. Um, but they do a couple different options. They do C-section ones and then they do like just normal, normal like lower brief ones. I got the C-section ones just in case because you never know. Um, and I'd rather be prepared for that. Um, but the pack that I bought, I'm going to leave as much as I can down below as well. Um, if you guys wanted to, if you need anything for your hospital bag. Um, but the pack that I bought came with a pack of eight. Um, so I've just packed those. My belly's making some noise. Um, yeah, I've literally just packed those. I don't think... I'll probably pack some like normal underwear that's like comfy as well um or i just live in these see this is what i'm saying literally don't use this video as a guide because i don't even know what i'm doing i'm just winging it um and then i did pack a nursing bra and also just some seamless ones like this I've got quite a few of these actually, just because I literally live in these anyway. They're so comfy. I am planning on breastfeeding as well, so it's literally easy just to go, you know. <laughs> um, and it's nice because, um, like when the baby's here, obviously it's got I can wear this and have still have like skin to skin contact without having like my boobs out not that I probably will probably care anyway obviously I'm going to be in hospital but it's just like I don't know it's nice to feel a little bit covered I don't know but I just thought I'd take those as well um, and I've got two of those and a nursing bra also can I just say guys this is one piece of advice actually I will give and that I do think you should take please don't feel like you should go and spend like 10 15 pounds on plastic personalized plastic bags because so many people do that and don't get me wrong like each to their own right like i'm not judging or anything like that but for me like i literally you basically used like my Shein bags um if i didn't have these bags i'd literally just use sandwich bags and like just label them like i've just got like little literally sticky labels i'd rather spend that 10 15 pounds on i don't know something that i'm most likely going to use again in the near future I, mean, I know you can keep it for like whenever you have your next child but yeah you don't need fancy plastic personalized bags um but these actually came these ones that you guys will see that don't if they're not sheen then they actually came with this gym bag here which i got on amazon which is like Honestly, it was only £12 and it came with like these plastic bags. Great. Like literally great. You don't need the most expensive, expensive things to give birth. Okay. Toiletries. So, with my toiletries, I have got some deodorant. 
I this is a little bit well I wouldn't say it's a bit excessive but I did pack some pillow spray just because I know you can um, take your own blanket and pillow and stuff in I won't be doing that the hospital I'm giving birth at is huge it's humongous the car park from well where the car will be to like where the label ward and stuff is it's a journey um so I like to carry like the whole pillow and everything like no but what I will do is spray this on my pillow I love this spray it's from Bath and Body Works I always spray this every single night uh, and I just thought it's just something nice to kind of spray on my pillow um just to kind of like relax me and also kind of make me feel like I'm kind of at home even though I'm definitely not at home um but yeah that is like one thing that I will be bringing um got some nipple cream and I got some shower gel a comb which I've also heard a lot of people take like a wide tooth comb to kind of distract them from the pain um but I am just going to use this for my hair as well I didn't actually pack this to like for the pain relief I've, I generally just packed this because all my other hair brushes are huge um and I'm just going to use this comb to brush my hair I've got very fine hair so it doesn't really get knotty um in the sense um, and then I got shampoo and conditioner. I just literally bought these from Primark and decanted some of my shampoo and conditioner in there. I don't know if I will wash my hair, but I imagine probably after if I do give birth or however, if I give birth naturally, I'm sure I'll be very sweaty and will want a shower um, after. Uh, Another hair clip, got a toothbrush, it's just like a fresh one that I've put in there, skincare, um, which I just got like these little travel sizes, so I've just got this Cetaphil moisturising cream, some serum, this is like a little lip cream, because um, I've heard from the gas in there, your lips can go really dry. And then also an oil cleanser. I've got a couple hair bands. And then also this is um, some toothpaste. Um, I am most likely going to buy a, t a little um, tube of toothpaste. But just in the rare chance that I do forget. Um, because there's always something like that like that I do forget. I just wanted to cover my back because there's absolutely no way... I'm not brushing my teeth <laughs> like so I've just literally put that just in case I do forget but I'm most likely gonna probably buy some tomorrow but me and my brain I'm always forgetting things these days a perineal bottle um this was just from boots um it's you literally fill it with water um and then when you go for the I don't, I don't know about number two, I'm not sure, but I think this is designed for more of a number three. Um, you literally spray, because obviously, I'm sure, I, I would like to say I can imagine, but I probably can't imagine the pain, <laughs> but I'm about to find out anyway. Um, but yeah, it comes with like a little sprinkler. So I got one of those, apparently these are absolute must, um, for obviously down there because I'm sure it was very painful I then packed some mat maternity pads and also some breast pads um, I just again yeah literally filled this plastic bag up I packed some flip flops as well um, just because I've had obviously I don't really want to be like putting my shoes on my trainers walking around the ward or like if I have a shower you know I'm not gonna put my trainers on <laughs> so yeah just literally got some Primark flip flops I tried these on earlier oh my god my feet they've swollen so much that they don't even fit so <laughs> I 
I don't even know if these are going to probably fit me, probably not, but <laughs> we'll see. I then also got, oh, what's that? Oh, some socks. <laughs> I heard that your feet can get really cold during labour. So I packed some cosy, fluffy socks. And then on to clothes. So clothes was actually my biggest minefield when it came to packing because I just feel like, how do you even predict how long you're going to be in the hospital for? What you're going to wear? What do you wear around the ward? Do you know what I mean? Like, like clothes to me, like that was actually the hardest thing out of absolutely everything. I was like, what do I even pack for clothing? Um, so I think I've just packed the most random stuff. Like, I don't even know. Like, I think I've literally just packed the most random stuff. But like I said, I'm literally down the road from the hospital. So if I need anything, if I end up staying in longer, Jamie can pop back home or my mum, his mum, whoever's mum can go and grab me some clothes. So I've packed a big night shirt this is just from Primark and um, also I know again there's going to be a few things that are like light coloured clothing that people I've, I've seen so many people go don't pack light coloured clothing because you're going to get it ruined I don't care if I get this ruined like I'll just bin it like it's not a problem or not even bin it I'll probably still wear it I'm not going to lie but you know I don't really care um but yeah that's a huge huge top um whether or not i like choose to give birth in that i don't know i just saw that you should pack an oversized t-shirt um i then packed some pajamas so again from primark just some plain black pajamas they're the shorts and then this is like a button-up top I'll probably wear this when the baby is here. Um, or maybe I'll even wear this when I'm giving birth. I don't know, like, what do you even wear when you give birth? Because I always thought, like, you just wear the gown. But then so many people are like, no, you wear this and you wear that. But I'm kind of thinking maybe do I wear this in, like, a, a well, maybe one of them seamless bras? I'm not sure. But... I'll probably save this for when when he's here because like I said I plan to breastfeed so that'll probably be the easiest option to wear that. I then packed they're kind of like the seamless bras but they're like little pajama tops. Um so I'm gonna wear those as well. Well I might not wear them but I'm gonna pack them and then also some long sleeve not long sleeve um, just like loungewear trousers um, whether I wear one of these home I'm not sure they're just like stretchy really stretchy in fact they're Jamie's so <laughs> they're a little bit more bigger and then they're just like some nice loungewear trousers and then the final thing that I'm taking is a flannel and also a towel which is in there again I have hundreds of towels. Everyone says make sure you take dark towels, dark clothing. I'm not fast. I'm really not fast if I get blood on it, if I get all sorts on it. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> Guys, I literally thought I escaped hot weather, being heavily pregnant, but of course, of course, the first week of September is going to be up to 29 degrees on to baby boy's bag I'm gonna try and whiz through this um because I feel like this video is gonna be very long um again this isn't really done so long story short long story short and um, I don't really have that many newborn clothes um which i kind of thought like do you know what everyone was telling me right every single person was telling me 
don't get too many newborn clothes like just focus on zero to three because they literally grow out of it so in my mind like i just never thought about getting any newborn clothes like just did not think about getting any newborn until like right up until the very end like literally the last couple of weeks i thought oh my god like i actually don't have that much <laughs> like i don't have any like i i literally don't have any short sleeve newborn vest like i just i've packed basically the long sleeve but obviously like look at this weather it, like of course knowing my luck it's still going to be 30 degrees when he comes um so i have gone on to vintage basically and just bought um some a few not a lot i've just bought a few short sleeve vests and i kind of literally have only got like three newborn bodysuits which he needs more than that but that being said we are actually going for a growth scan next week um because he's actually measuring or if they think he's measuring big so i'm not going too crazy with the newborn stuff because he might very well not fit into any newborn clothes but obviously we want to be prepared because I don't want him coming and like being swallowed up by these zero to three months um so yeah that again if you do want some advice everyone as a first time mum will tell you they're gonna grow out so quickly of the newborn phase which they do i'm sure they do i don't know i'm just speaking like from probably that they will he will be growing really quickly but do make sure you've probably got a few a few newborn clothes because I literally don't have anything for him um but that being said most of it is packed so we've got his coming home outfit this is zero to one month's size which i am thinking um i'm gonna obviously i need to get him something smaller maybe i'm not really fussed what he comes home in to be honest like as long as it's clean he's warm then I don't really care about what he, he wears, but this is so cute. <laughs> so cute. It's from Tesco. This is really, really cute. So I do kind of low key want him to come home in this, but it kind of looks a little bit big, but he might, he might be a big boy. But um, yeah, this is going to be his, hopefully his coming home outfit, but if he doesn't, fit it and then i am gonna make sure i pack just like a newborn something for him to wear in a newborn size just in case um but that is literally i can't i'm so obsessed with that so so cute um we've then got so this is his newborn sleep seats and newborn body suits so i have packed his sleep suits so i've just packed three i've um, got some really cute like ones with little bees on there and just some ones from sainsbury's and then i've packed two newborn longs oh my god look how tiny it is on camera oh. okay two newborn long sleeve body suits but um like I said, I've ordered some short sleeve ones because he might be a bit... I've kind of heard from a few friends and stuff like that it's quite hot in the hospital. Um, so I've packed... I've ordered some short sleeve ones as well because I don't want him to overheat. And I just want a selection. I do feel like I kind of... I might have overpacked a little bit with the baby stuff, but I just would rather... I'd rather overpack for him than overpack for me because for me it's not an issue you know like I'll survive I mean he'll survive but baby can't communicate they can't tell you you know hey mum I'm too cold or too hot so I'd rather just be prepared <laughs> I then literally packed him zero to three months sleep suits and body suits again just to be prepared i am prepared for him to be a big chunk trust me there's something in me that's going to tell that is telling me he's going to be a little bit of a, a chunky monkey um i won't get them all out but look how cute so cute 
so adorable. Can you tell that I have a bear theme going on? I just love anything with bears, I'm obsessed. Um, so yeah, got a mixture of, uh, so I've got three sleep suits and then a mixture of short and long sleeve body suits in there. Uh, in here we have got muslin cloth hats, scratch mittens and a comforter. So I've packed three muslins. I am deciding on whether or not to pack some more just in case I don't know he spits up or they get ruined. I don't really want I want him to have like fresh muslin. A little comforter. So cute. Um some hats and also some socks and mittens. Um his sleep suits and everything pretty much ha all have either foot, feet on them, like little socks on them or mittens already. Um, but again, I'm just going to pack it just in case. You never know. Okay, then I packed some... What are these called? <laughs> Nappies. Um, for obvious reasons just packed a pack in there because you never know how much he's going to get through um, nappy bags I have heard that you don't need nappy bags with you but again doesn't take too much space I'm just going to take it just in case uh, but I think they've got like bins and stuff that but like, I want to like obviously put it in a nappy bag to give to them like, I wouldn't just be like here have his Pooey nappy. <laughs> so, yeah. Right. I've also packed a pack of cotton balls and I've also packed some wipes because I've heard some people say to use cotton balls and water and some people say to use wipes like in their very first early days um, just in case they like have a reaction. But then, like, I don't know really what to do because I've heard their first poo is, like, tar. So, how can you be really clean with, like, hot water and a cotton ball? Because I'd, like, want to, like, want him clean, you know? But I've packed both just in case because I'll just decide, I don't know, whether or not I just get the midwife's opinion. <laughs> I'm not sure, but, again, just packing for the safe side. Um, and then I've packed two blankets in there, which are just like cellular blankets. Um, I will be packing also a pram suit. Um, obviously, it's a journey from the labour ward to the car. Obviously, I know you can't wear, he can't wear um, a pram suit in the car seat on the way home. Um, but... I'm going to take a pram suit just in case, but I have got the blankets, um, but yeah, I just want to be prepared. Um, and then also I have packed some Sudocram and also some dummies which I've already sterilised. I don't know if I'll use these, I'm not sure. Um, don't know if I'll use these um obviously I don't know I don't know if he'll need them oh my god now I've got to work out how I put everything back together oh, we'll do that later okay everyone that is literally everything that I've packed for mine and my baby's hospital bag I feel like with him I don't I don't want to overpack every, like loads of stuff but I also don't want to underpack um but i think we've got everything we need i think so like i said we're literally so close to the hospital so it's not a big problem it's not going to be the end of the world um yeah if you guys have given birth or <laughs> if you or even if you haven't like and if you 
think that I've missed anything please feel free to let me know in the comments if there's anything that you think if there's any like essential like essential that I have missed out please let me know because the days are counting down something tells me there's a little voice within me that I do feel like I don't think he's gonna be late I think that's me wishful thinking and wishful hoping <laughs> but yeah we're 37 weeks <laughs> I will say though guys do you know what this pregnancy is blown by but these last four weeks this is this in fact this third trimester is like you know it's slowly sailing along i knew it was gonna happen i knew the minute i go on maternity leave the whole like pregnancy would start slowing down <laughs> because like we're so close to the finish line but um, that was just so not flattering <laughs> but yeah guys i hope you guys have enjoyed make sure you follow along my tiktok and instagram because i try to post regularly there right now it's been hard it's been hard i've been tired i've been you know organizing um but yeah make sure you follow me on there if you haven't done so already i'll leave everything down below yeah hope you guys enjoy it and i will see you all in my next video